public relations, to me, is a low-cost, high-return vehicle that I think every small business should be using. If you're not using PR, you're leaving money on the table. Um, one thing I did want to point out, so on page 47 of Market to the Max, we have something called How to Write the Perfect Press Release. You don't have to be a PR professional like myself or Rachel or Jim to do this. Um, we're giving you the secret to how to write the perfect press release um, in Market to the Max. So think about this for broad image and awareness. PR is fantastic. Now here is a company um, that used PR to uh, really launch their company and they used it for the next five or six years. Uh, has anyone heard of i Networks? i a few more people, so a handful more people than had heard of Telegy, and that makes sense because they do go, um, they're a, a B2B, business-to-business -business company. And for i the way we started out was to position them, they're a VOIP, but at the time, this was a few years ago, VOIP was actually, um, People didn't trust it for business. There was a lot of what we call the FUD factor. Has anyone here ever heard of FUD? Okay, there's a few. Uh, okay, uh, how about Sylvia? You want to tell us, Sylvia? I know the first is fear, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That's right. How we offset FUD is with comfort, stability, and confidence. So with i one of the things we wanted to do was to say, you know, we know VOIP is scary for your business. You don't want to rely on that yet. But voice over private internet, which is how we position them, is nice and safe. You know, it's a Cisco network. It's safe. It's gated. It's wonderful. So the first thing we did was to position i as a business class, what we, we called VOIP product. So there's your category positioning, like we talked about before. Then we made them look safe through brochures and collateral. Um, and then you can see now the press. So this is one where we really didn't have money to advertise. So we used the PR to create that air cover we talked about. And you can see with this placement, selling a disruptive technology that works, i -Corps. And you cannot get more perfect than that for this company who was going to go out to businesses, would take this as a reprint, and hand it out during the sales call. And then we, you can see here, there's Steve Canton, the CEO. Um, i became um, number 29 on the Inc. 500 list. Um, through media relations, we pitched i to the reporters so that it wasn't just a number on a list, but we gave them the whole story of i -Corps. So this placement is a day in the life of i -Corps. And it's talking about their unique sales strategy. So at 7.30, there's Mike Bertamini, and he gets the sales team ready, and they go out, and it shows every hour in the day of a life of i -Corps. So this placement was, was priceless, really, uh, really fantastic. Um, there's Steve on the cover of Circle of Excellence, which is Smart CEO Magazine. So wouldn't you like to see your, yourself or your company on the cover of the local business magazine? Um, and then doing some advertising very vertically. <coughs> so this was also Smart CEO talking about how i has a very smart a small carbon footprint. And then awards. So what's the one award no one wants to win? Anybody? No one wants to win the award for being the world's best kept secret, right? So awards are a part of um, what we call corporate positioning. And another successful exit. So as you can see here, you got Rich in the i exit. Uh, i -Corps was sold to Vonage for $92 million. So again, I can tell you that Steve Canton got very wealthy from that, and it was a wonderful story. Um, Steve's a great guy, and this is his actually third exit from a telecommunications company. Mm -hmm.